Yo, Tom here from TK Total Fitness. The weather is miserable, so I'm killing a couple of minutes <clears throat> just sitting in the car, in the car park, procrastinating on the going into the gym to train. Anyways, I went to the um, American football on Sunday, the NFL, and um, just, yeah, an experience. It was good. I, I still don't understand the rules at all. I'm not going to pretend to. I don't really have much desire to, to be honest. It's not something I generally watch on TV. Um, but I went for the experience more than anything else. It was good fun. Anyways, when I was there, I had to resort to some less than optimal food choices, okay? <clears throat> we sort of got there a bit late because of the traffic. Got rushed into the stadium. And once you were in there, it was like airport syndrome. There wasn't really much choice when it comes to eating and you had to have what was there. It was, um, there was literally like, the stalls were signed beer, chicken and chips, or hot dogs, like Homer Simpson style. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I went for a hot dog, but it was like disgusting, you know. Those you know, the sausage has got like a crispy skin. Like, I'm all for sausages, I don't mind putting a um, a good quality sausage in my mouth, but those sausages got the only what I can liken it to is like eating a raw banana, biting into a raw banana. It's disgusting, and I, I, I'm all for eating bad food, yeah, bad food, I don't really care about it, as long as it tastes nice, but when there's kind of, when there's bad food that tastes bad, it's like rubbing salt in the wounds, right, it's like, you kind of feel like you're, you're wasting your health for no good reason, um, so yeah, anyway, it's disgusting, and, I mean, what, a couple of things I want to bring to light based on that, well, like I said, firstly, the, just the idea of um, bad food, and tasting bad and being bad, it's, it's not cool, is it? If, you, if you're gonna if you're gonna eat bad food, bad food, unhealthy food, you gotta make sure it's your favourite stuff, right? The best stuff, stuff to look forward to, not just kind of like eating it because it's there. Well, that was the situation I was forced into. Anyways, I had no choice. I had no choice. So here's what I'm gonna get at today, really, really quickly. Do what is in within your control, okay? So. Obviously, when you go on holiday, you go on nights out, you go to your parents' house for dinner, you go to a friend's house for dinner, whatever the case is, you go, there's, you, you, you put into situations where what you eat is out of your control, right? And you, you can't just be like, com, like, impolite and rude and just say, look, I'm not going to eat this. Sometimes you've got to eat bad food, whether you like it or not, in two ways, whether you like the food or not, and whether you like the situation or not. But... Most of the time, and this is where it's important to do with what is within your control, because it creates leverage. So, most of the time, the food that you eat is your choice, right? You have the choice to eat healthy food. For the majority of the time, you have the choice to eat unhealthy food. If you're eating healthy food for the majority of the time, you create that kind of cheat debt, I guess we could call it, or leverage so that when you go on holiday, when you go to parties, when you go on nights out, you can do these things and then not massively negatively affect your body composition and your progress and your state of health okay so do what is it within your control when you can and accept that there are going to be times when you can't okay when it is within your control make the good food choices for the majority of the time build up that leverage build up that cheat debt and then accept the fact that sometimes you're not going to be able to and that you can get away with those times um, regardless of whether you like it or not, without it massively affecting your body composition or your health or your goals. Okay, that's it. Peace.